What's up guys, Son of Beast here. We are back for another NBA 2K21 and slash of course the play-in tournaments. So as for right now, the Grizzlies has destroyed the Spurs and they're coming back again to take on a winning a team. Seven versus eight seed, seven or eight seed if one of each team wins. And now we got another one that was amazing to see. The Wizards coming back in for the 10th seed, loser will be facing it off in this section. So remember, the 7th seed will be facing against the 2nd seed in the first round. The one who loses the game will be in for the sudden death round to battle against the Sixers. In the Eastern Conference, then battling the 8th seed winner in the Western Conference against the Utah Jazz, and the 7 vs. 8 loser will be facing on against the other team to uh, the first the sudden death Spurs against the other team. If the Lakers or Warriors win, they will face against the Phoenix Suns in the second seed of the Western Conference. So as are being said, we got a winner for you and that means it's the Wizards facing on the against the winning team of the Celtics versus the Hornets. If Hornets or Celtics lose, they're facing against the Wizards for the sudden death to battle for the eighth seed in the first round. So with that being said, we're going to start with the Eastern Conference first because they are we are in Eastern right now and this must be a good one to give it all. And right now we are presenting you the Celtics versus the, the Charlotte Hornets. As we were talking about it before, we got the Hornets right down on the track, and there might be another good solution to figure it out. So, we have uh, one out for you. We have is Kemba Walker, Marcus Smart, Evan Fournier, Jason Tatum, and Tristan Thompson. And on the other hand, for the Hornets, we have is LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier III, Cody Martin, Jalen McDaniels, and P.J. Washington. Well, if Gordon Hayward was around, then I don't know what to expect, but we will take a look at the statement in between Charlotte and Boston. I will do this one this way. Why not? That might be a better idea to, do, to give that call, but let's see what the Hornets could do. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And here the rest of the lineups as well, as I'm looking at it right down in the order. And right down there we have is Roy Williams, Pritchard, Williams, O'Julie, and Parker. On the other hand is Zeller, Graham, Graham, Monk, Martin, Bayambo, Wanamaker, Carey Jr., and Richards. But what happened to Gordon Hayward? Well, looks like we have an update for you that he's no longer playing for this season. Well, how could, how bad that could that be? Really bad. I really expected this was going to what happened, that Gordon Hayward was going to stay with the team before he ends off with his season and before facing up next season. So I got no idea what to say anything. And here they are, they're walking in from the locker room, and now they're dressed up, ready to get things going before the game. And now let's get to the court, let's see what it is. Here in Charlotte, North Carolina, at the Spectrum Center, I wanna see what it looks like. Let's see if it changes already. Yes, they did! So it looks like in the middle of the section right now, they just recently have it changed. This is turning out to be fantastic than the other one. Now here's DA on the sideline. Before we get to there, Evan Fournier will be uh, just just playing really well with the Magic, but now he's coming back to play with the Celtics. 17.1 last five games, 21.2, 62% for the courage. And with tip off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend. Now here's DA David Aldridge. DA take it away. Hey Kevin, if you'll allow a DC kid to be a little parochial right now. While there are some basketball hotbeds throughout the world, Prince George's County in the heart of Maryland is among the finest. 
a litany of NBA players have come from PG, including Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Markel Fultz, Michael Beasley, and Quinn Cook. KD said, it's just in the water. This is what we do. Guys? Great stuff as always. Good stuff as always here. Looks like everything else is doing really well. There's Cook Brad Stevens for the Celtics. And it looks like this key matchup will be Jason Tatum versus uh, Jalen Daniels right from the side of the point forward position. Um, I don't understand what happened to uh, Miles Bridges anyway, but it looks like there isn't anything to say that I wanted to take a look at. Um, I don't know. Something going on there. It looks like there's not enough time to find out what they got. Now, if you're tuning in for the next game, they're playing against the San Antonio Spurs. Watch it tonight. Don't miss this one out if you're looking for the win to pick it up in the lead. So here we go. Let's get it off. Jason Tatum picks it up. A smooth roll. Here's commentators Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke. Now, here's Ball. Big Daniels looking up. Ball will be over to Rogier to third. Shoes up. It's missed up by 48. Here's the Celtics with the ball. Here's, four, here's Tatum again. Two points. Another one's good. The Mellow Ball looking around the other way. Passes up to Rozier. Rozier in the corner. Passes up to McDaniels. McDaniels. Good D on Jason Tatum. Picking up another slight rebound. Looking for another shot here for six. And he does. That's six in a row for Tatum. That's a great beginning. Three for three from the floor. Three for three. No miss on that one. McDaniels. Pass over to Rozier. Up and around, Washington with the rebound. LaMelo ball to Martin. Eight to shoot. The shot's up, and a foul goes on Marcus Smart, his first. No question, he got bumped upon that shot. And with Thompson, as you said, Greg, once he's planted in the paint, <laughs> Good luck. I mean, good luck with that. I, I don't know. I got nothing else to say about that one, but it's too much to comply and reside on that one. So I don't see any like, anything else on that on this one. Two shots coming for Martin. First shot calls in. Looking good here for Coach Brad Stevens picking up, not being fired, not even going to another team. He's working very good, hard and unstoppable. Other coaches will get fired from the other team. Not happy enough. He doesn't get the second. He didn't get the second, but only one free throw will allow it in. Their first three shots this is the Buzz City. Tatum four in a row. That's eight points for Tatum, and now they are tripping, leading by nine. LaMelo Ball hitting coming, makes the layup, and he has the first basket on the board. LaMelo Ball looking out of nowhere, starting with his rookie season, if he can get there that far. Here's Walker. Walker makes the layup. Ten to three is the score. The Hornets have gone just... Hornets are trying their best to look at the other way. So he was here to defer to Washington. Outside. Five minutes play. Bounce pass to McDaniels. Six on the shot. Six on the shot clock. Shot, no good. A lot of offensive playing up tough, but this is not where we go. Fournier drills a three. Assist by Tato. That will be the first assist of the game for uh, for the Boston. Now it's Lomelo Ball coming around the airway. Drives it up. Two in a row. Doesn't make that miss, but he's going to have to try it hard at that time. Field goal percentage. 100 fully percent for the Celtics. For 33 for the Hornets. They got to get back to work. Walker out in the middle. Pass over to Tatum. You also have to credit the way he controlled And we got a lost ball for a miss. Tatum, he loses a streak. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Washington. Go back to the ball. 
All up. That's it. Lays it in. Now he gets another point. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that Only far. McDaniels with the rebound. That was it. That is not the way you want Thompson covered up by Washington. Tatum for three. And he puts it in. Tatum gets the, Tatum gets the first three but for the season with the bucket. We're down to 3.30 going. LaMelo Ball, that's four percent. Four shots, eight points. Now he ties it up with Tatum. If he makes it, then he is on the leaderboard. Walker missed the three. Good D on LaMelo Ball as he saw that one coming. McDaniels lays it up, and then we'll keep it alive here with just three or five remaining. Now Terry Rozier, we gotta, uh, gotta say about him, he's doing really good last season, but for last season it was a rough. Why? Well, it's because like how well has he done better if he could do if he can stay on the board. It might not be enough if he could do it again once we uh, once we're taking a close time off for for him to shoot. Now the next, the first foul is going to call on P.J. Washington. The anticipation and the toughness. Now Marcus Smart will shoot go to line to shoot two. Bussy, make some noise! And that one falls for Smart. New changes here for the uh, Celtics and Hornets. Walker, 48, Tatum, and Thompson are checked out. Kevin, many Pritchard, Nasmith, Will, and two Williams. All five players come off the court, and five players come in by Mozeller, Martin, Monk, and Graham. And able to pull off Graham. the logistical challenges of a restart. Let's see what we'll see what the commentators have to say about the so, say about smart. the name. Nails both of them. And Doris, when you're identifying the heart. So he nails both, Marcus Smart. Smart is always at the center of that discussion. Marcus Smart is so passionate. He's so There's the first two for Brad. willing to get down and do the dirty work that affect winning and consider Pritchard the finds Williams taken now as the leader of the Celtics goes to Williams to mentor a young guy like there's Rick. two Williams I'm not sure who they are want him good rebound by Zeller Hornets trail by five he dishes off to Zeller up and over is Payambo over Williams Zeller would have got a rebound, but it's off. The Celtics have gotten seven of their first They got seven balls so far. Ball so far. I don't know what to say. They find Smart. Oh, pass would have been almost complete. Incomplete, but it's not off in time. So Bayambo takes another rebound. That's one. Bayambo picking up another one. Barking outside. Martin kicks to Monk. Long for three. No good on that, no one. Good on that one here. Pritchard then takes his first rebound as it goes off the rim. Here's Pritchard. Pritchard. Outside. Pass off to Smart. Passes Tries to find Nesmith. Nesmith is Smart. Six on the shot clock. Smart, can he get in there? Oh, it's Biombo with the block, but it's gotten in here too late. Shot Boy, put it in that will be the first block for Bayambo. Now we got 110 to go. 20 to 13 to score. They, they are trailing by seven. Martin out for three. Rebounded by Bayambo. Oh, he got a block on Williams. Zeller, right on Pritchard. Screen on Williams. Two, two man covered, and it's another miss for, by, for Boston. Monk passed to Bayamo. Now he goes over to Zeller. Makes a shot. Assist by Bayamo. That will be his first assist of the game. Under 30 seconds, 20 to 15. Still getting warm They're still getting warming up here for the first quarter, but we'll have to find out with the second quarter later then. Pritchard, good pass by Williams, and that'll be his first assist. Pritchard's got his first bucket of the game. 
to Monk. Monk, outside, 10 seconds. Here's Martin. Martin. To the wing on the left. Monk to Oliver, Oliver, two. The wing jumper. And the wing jumper is no good. The first half is done. Half court's off, 22 to 15 to score. We're still getting underway here for the uh, for the seven verse AC, but we gotta find out who's going to lead it through before halftime. We'll be we got a line we'll to show you when we come back. I'm the youngest of four boys. So is anybody who has siblings older, younger, you understand the struggle, especially being the youngest. You know, you always gotta fight for what you want. And no question, smart is So I don't have any questions to say about Marcus Smart. It looks like how well he has yeah, this bringing upbringing to his game. His Not every time. Oh, look at this! We got a good, good layup. Graham has got a number two pointer. For two four and points. Just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. Now in the other way, Bridget past the Parker. Guys, what jumps out to you? Zeller trying to cover it. They use the fast break to. Oh, and it's Bayumbo with the block. Great job. Oh, it's a no-no. Watch this one again. That was a good play for Bayambo. It was Cody Zeller was thinking, Ricky, help me out. Well, there wasn't anything else to say about that, but thanks to Bayambo to save the day. Excellent. Now, it's still Celtics ball anyway. Let's see what he does. Has no time, but it looks like Parker got it. Oh! He didn't make the three at all, so that would be no points. Seller against Parker. Here's the pass to Martin. Martin for three. Outside. Good! Right from the outside range is right in the bucket. First three for the Hornets. Pritchard, screen on Parker. Oh, ball's tip. Oh, and it's Monk with the steal. Two on one. Here they come. There's Monk with a layup, and it's in the books. So as we're being said right now, we got a first turnover for the Celtics to pick it up. A lot of changing going on for the, for the, Horn, for the Hornets to pick up. Nesmith will be taking its first shot of the game. First time out called by the Hornets, 544 left. To a fall. Yeah, there isn't anything else I'm just going to do because I will I will do this one quick. I will keep an eye on this one at some point. Let me switch it up and I will be right with you guys back. So here are some new changes for the Hornets and the Celtics. We got a few of them. Fritchard, Esmus, Parker, Williams sub out. Tatum, Fournier, Parker goes to the center and Walker's back in. All five players come back. Except for Monk, to this day in a different I mean, way. I mean Martin. So I can only imagine when he's he now on the center. Best of interest in the team. What that's got. To Shots be. in and one, and now they tie it up by 24. The foul will be going on Parker. And it's paid off. First foul again. If you're tuning in to uh, to the Nets, they're they're pushing up the head to make the lead over the Spurs. They're making it look insane. Just like how they did. So one shot is coming for Cody. Uh, Martin. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. He puts up by one point. Now here we go. Down to one five twenty-five left. Walker past the Parker. Not Tony Parker. It's something else. And a good rebound here. Almost making a save. This is what happened last night against uh, Miami when he lost. At home. 5.05 to go. Here's Rozier to third. And this shot is off. Walker takes a steal. Another turnover for the Hornets. Shooting and another shooting foul is going on. Mark in his first on the Hornets. Yeah, good job to take it right at the defense. This is his first of course, his first trip to the free throw line for him. And he's trying to do it right. From the line. The first one falls. He falls it in. Now it looks like a new change is coming. Parker is it comes out. And Thompson's checked in. And we're talking about Daniel Feist. What happened? Well, it's because he's with the Chicago Bulls. 
with Zach Levine and Nikola Yovusevic. That is right. So we we lost one of our, they lost one of their franchise players, and now they're bringing it back in to do it again. Zach Levine's all good. He's doing fine. Hey guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, they can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big. I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, D.A. there. Thanks. Thanks for the story here for Jalen Brown here, D.A. Ball looking up. Oh, he dunks it right over again. Now he gets 12 points. In the paint and on the points. Look at that. That's crazy. Walker. Missed the shot. Now they're still in the lead by one with four minutes. McDaniels in the wing. Bounce pass to Martin. Tries to look out on the up on the out of bounds. Martin almost made it. 3.45 left. Tatum against McDaniels. Shoots up. Another shot. Try to go with it, and McDaniels got it back. And then 48, only 20 points after a loss. And now they're all chanting, saying, let's go Hornets. And here's another layup for Washington. Assist by McDaniels. Deliver the pass where your team McDaniels has got his first assist as well. Tatum looking around. Passes to Fournier for three. Fires it from outside is off the rim. Here comes Washington. Washington delivers a dunk right on over Thompson. And look at that. You punch us down. A lot of deeper going in. Assist by Washington. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Walker against Paul. He finds Ujulie. That was Julie that made his first free throw line attempt. He feeds it to Thompson. Thompson, good pass. Now he comes up by feet. Down by three. Ball doing it over again. Ball with it. He's got Ball pass to Rogier. To the middle. Goes over to Washington. Here's Washington. Washington fades it off. Rebound, but it's rebounded by Tatum again. Ajulia looking over. That's another rebound for McDaniels. Looking good, comfortable in the first half, but now this winds up to be two minutes for the first half. McDaniels back to Martin. Here's Martin again, second attempt. Failed. Celtics trail by three. Celtics still trailing by three with Tatum coming in. Steps up over ball and it's good. Timeout called by the Hornets. 143 left. Just before the uh, before uh, halftime starts. Everything is on point. Charlotte calls timeout. You know, Greg, we know. Looks like everything is doing okay. But let's go ahead and sell out Washington. Let's go back to Zeller uh, for 92. And McDaniels, I'll have to sub him out now. Power finishers in the game. Well, I mean, they're still power. A lot of energies are coming up in their way. Let's try. Uh, I don't see any, anybody else right now. But um, let's switch to Terry Rozier on this section, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring that. Uh, bring one of me through right over here. Ball out. Here. And finally, I will put his Gary uh, Jr. And looking at some numbers for Martin. Let's have a look at the numbers for Martin. And two last ten games, what a half pointing going on so far. He's doing really well. He's not not doing all all alone, but he can do it right for the target if he can make it. Sometimes it comes down. Sometimes he can just do it right at that point. Maybe Martin will do it again. Junior trying to 
Carey Jr. On the first score comes in. As the four to first half comes to a close. Barton, screen on Wanami. I mean, Tatum. And now it's Warren with the steal. Zeller. Boom. Look at that. Good play. Zeller has it all. Celtics trail by five. Celtics now Chance has lost the trail and now they are That's down by Williams. five. Williams against Carey Jr. Shoots over. It's rebound and it's rebound by Carey Jr. Moving on after the tough loss they took. 50 seconds to go. Uh, again, they definitely felt they could win. And, and this happened the last game versus Denver. And what a close call. So, unfortunately, the Hornets did not win over the Nuggets. That's, that was kind of unacceptable to make that play. Now Zeller has another shot. Attempt to go in. Hey, it looks like they keep shooting it all over again. 30 seconds to go. Here's Pritchard, covered by Mark. Try to go for the steal. Pritchard trying to do it again. 22 seconds left in the first half. Tatum got it up on oh, Rozier, and that's breaking free as it goes up for another two. Five on the basket from Tatum. 15 seconds to go. Beautiful right now. 39 to 34. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Five seconds. Now oh, here's Mark. Martin. Try to do the buzz beater, and that will send it off as we approach that halftime. 39 to 34. Hornets up by up by. We'll be back shortly at the Spectrum Center, Buzz City. And if you're joining us this time, welcome back to Charlotte, North Carolina, as we are getting ready to start the third quarter. The Hornets lead it up by five. And it looks like Jason Tatum has got some cover here on the boards. He streaked it with only six points, and now he lost it, and now he brings it back into 17 points. Would have got another streak this time, but it did not happen. Second half of basketball, we're ready to go. Now back in is ball. Everybody is refueled, refueled up and ready to go. Ball, look at that. 14 points on the board. Hit the small forward position. Good start for the second half, and now it's Walker so right around the corner. The they trail by seven. Walker goes up. Here's Thompson. Thompson back. That got is no good. Washington puts it back right into the lower layup. Now Washington. Washington. Bounce pass for McDaniels. Good one. Rozier, back to McDaniels. Six to the clock, shot clock. A nice shot right here for McDaniels, and he picks up another one. The second point of the game is on the board. Here's Walker. Only picking up not enough to go up for the speed. Thompson against Oh, I forgot who's name. And it looks like Ball wasn't looking at Walker. Walker got another one. More opportunity to That's a good assist by Thompson. Pretty delivery there. Ball. Ball. Bounce pass is complete and it's taken away by Fournier. On the fast break, Fournier. Good on that, on that shot over Ball and they're picking up just only five points for our one. Well, this is one of go to shots. Such a strong sense. Ball moving around a bit. Pass over to Rozier. Tries again. Martin. It's Martin on the wing. Started by Fournier. Shoots over Fournier. And it's, and it's another miss by, by Charlotte. Celtics trail by five. Fournier for three. And he took it all with catching it up to two points. Timeout again for the Hornets. Boston doesn't have any timeouts left, so they are still making money. A lot of disappointment effort here. I don't know what to say about that. A lot of terrific opportunities to make a play. Right now, I'll have to sub out Martin and bring back his Monk and McDaniels. 2 2. 
appreciated going through that moment. Richards. The fact that we're we'll give it a sort of shot. Why not? Contact. And we're going to do another yeah, one. Awesome. Let's yeah, try and get some zones here. And we're going to do some sure. warriors in the action. It, it was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but All good to go. Again, I wouldn't trade that experience for Few them. players on the Zolix. Change in and out. Now Smith and Parker come on a core. Smith in for Marcus Smart. Bounce pass to Washington. He goes right to Richards. Richards will take the first look here. Good layup. And his first basket comes up for the night. And that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Looks like we got a lot of 10 points in a row for the for the Hornets to go for. Here's Fournier. And it's good for Fournier. Foul on PJ Washington is first. It looks like the head coach wasn't wasn't trying to look at it. I thought this was called the uh, called the uh, like he, he was like out, almost out of bounds. But Julia and Parker are checked in. Forty-eight with one shot remaining. Come on, this is Buzz City. Make it louder. I can't hear you. And that it looks like they're not banging it, so Fournier you know, made that shot. Ability about what Evan Fournier does that keeps defenders guessing. Graham, we're going back the other way. To his advantage. Oh, Graham! Wow! That's three in a row right now. Graham has got six points. A Julie Walker. And here's Walker. Here's a Julie coming in. And he takes a layup. Good, good shot on that one. Thanks to Kemba Walker for the assist. A lot of offense is coming in. In and out. Incoming call. And another one for Graham. And he's got eight points. Not losing it again. But it looks like Celtics are trying to find a way again. And now it's a Julie once more. He scored it down big, and now they're catching it up by two. 3.45 left. Bong finds Richards. Washington for three. Hits and rim, and it's off. Nesmith with the rebound. Walker doing it again. Oh, and he tipped it right away. Look at that play. Parks has got another rebound saving of the game, and he ties it up. Graham trying to flip it around a bit. Bounce pass to Washington. Here's Washington. Shoots it up. Oh, it's blocked off by Julia. Walker surveying the floor. Surveying again, and the Celtics got in the lead. And then now they got six points here. Walker doing a bit outward. Rogier outside. Going in is Richardson. Richardson has to find another way to get through it. To the right side. Washington needs to find a way to get the review. Box those three. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Walker trying to get away from Graham. Parker over Rogier. Shoots it up. Again, he makes another shot. Another timeout call for the Hornets. Charlotte calls 53 to 49 to score. Looking very terrifying with all that game. And it never really got on before. So the offense was not picking up the pace. Let's just sub out uh, P.J. Washington. Let's go back to Cody Zeller. And, of course, Terry Rozier deferred. And I will go ahead and bring... Um, and I'll put up a uh, ball on the uh, shooting guard. Let's check out some stats. Let's look at the stats for Evan Fournier. Last 30 days. around 13 points a night. 13 points for a night. Everything's okay. Well, fans of this team will take And I forgot there was a Jordan player of the game, and I know it was the New Balance player of the game, but for the um, Wizards versus the uh, Pacers, it was Russell Westbrook. Look at the scoring leaders, ball by one. Right over the score by Tatum. Kept alive. Williams stunk it. Trying to keep Williams off the board. He makes it a We got only the two minutes in the third quarter. It's Martin on the way. Martin on the way. He finds 
Oh, Martin got it anyway before he took it a steal. Gray up for three. Oh, yeah. He made it outside. Now they're picking up a two-run scoring position for each team. Hornets trying to get back into the lead. Oh, it's an air ball. Richards. Graham got it back. Oh, he got it. Zeller doing it again. Martin trying to help. Zeller against Williams. Zeller up. Oh, and there's a foul on Williams. He could have blocked that shot, but that was a dirty call decision. Zeller will go to the line to shoot two if he can make its manage to the lead. Wow, that was very close. He almost would have called the goaltending here. And that's still a work in progress. Zeller tried to pick it up a number one. His passing, he has terrific instincts for the game. He didn't get there in time, but it looks like he'll take one more. New change for Celtics. Kemba Walker is off the court. Now it's Smart Tatum. Bridget moves to shooting to point guard. Can he tie it? Yes, he did. Zeller makes one free throw, and it looks like they're all even up. Pritchard against Ball. Pritchard trying to go for a rookie of the year. Smart against Graham. Back to Pritchard. Ball looking away. Oh, Ball could have tried to steal it and knock it out. Pritchard. Too late. Ball got a rebound. Zeller could have tried to pick up a screen, and now he gets one, and it's in, and they got the lead. Good, good assist here by Ball. He's going to need to try to keep it going if he can make it in. Well, first assist of the game. Tatum. No good. Zeller with a rebound. And nobody around him. Richards will get it back. Ball will take a second chance. Got to try to pick it up, another one. To Graham. Graham, four to shoot. The Hornets need to get a shot off. Can Zeller make it? And he makes it! He is on the streak this time. 18 points, three seconds. Tatum looking over again. Covered by Martin. Looks like the Celtics are trying to go for a look here for the win. If they can make it. Three seconds. Pritchard. Oh, he almost missed it. But he had a cover. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important. That will not be enough for the post beater. That's the end of the third quarter. 59 to 58. So close. But we have to see who wins and moves in to the seventh seed in a row. We'll be right back after this. Let's go to While we have a chance Farm, here, let's assist go to the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Like good neighbor, State Farm is there. And we're taking a look back right over here. Look how Martin did. And when you can tell, you see that Martin was going for that layup. You could definitely tell that he was making his reverse a lot better. Martin's doing really well. Terry Rozier the third, working out better. And we are ready for the final quarter to start. Let's see who will take the win and and first the round against the uh, the Nets. I'm thinking, yeah, the Nets. Two versus seven seed. Zeller takes it away. Mayambo ball. Oh, good D here for Pritchard, and it looks like Ball hasn't lost out. Smart, Smart decided up. What a shame, what a shame. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I did that, but it looks like it did. Biombo for three. Want to do it again. Nice rebound by Zeller. Biombo will take a second chance to look around. Goes over Tatum. Wow, what a deep, what a perfect D for Tatum. A lot of tape, a lot of pressure here for the Celtics to pick up. Oh, we got a pan on it. The Zeller. Good steal. Now Biambo gets the ball back. 
by Amber Baston Martin, and it's all over again. Another turnover for the Hornets. Tatum going right in the paint, second and champ, and it's over with the block. He gets the ball. What a save for the Hornets. Over to the wing. There's Paul with the three. Paul missing the three, not using the time. Going right after it, Pritchard pass to Smart. McDaniels on the cover, screen coming in, but it's off. He would have taken that time, but Smart has the shot, and they got the lead up by two. I mean, one. Both sides look way off. McDaniels will have to do it again. Oh, got a little piece on that one. Under five minutes, Martin trying to go for an arrow look. Again. Tries again. Rebounded by the it looks like it's a lot of rebound going Williams on for the Celtics. Nice D for Williams. Thompson. Thompson making the shot. Now it's a three-point three game. Don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. By up over two. And he will use it again. And he will go back to, to pick up a trail by one. Next time out, it is on Boston. Celtics are trying to talk it over once more. Now we will stay tuned for our next play in tournaments this time. It will be the Lakers versus the Warriors to face it off back after last season, too. No, a couple seasons later. Yeah, I was a couple seasons. Of course, you can understand about that one. Also, about Lauren Ball. Lamelo Lomel Ball. Sorry. Graham, back up into it. Now we're gonna stick up with the. Uh, yeah, let's keep an eye on that one. Let's do some. Uh, Let's get some play for his action here. Let's get the, um, we gotta get, um, we gotta get one of each players to get in, inside now. Um, time is running out, crash get into board, remember? And now let's present your New Balance player of the game. So it's both teams making We will get to this one when we come down to two minutes. Let's go to DA. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens had to say to his team. This was a close game, as you know, and he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move, right now. Kevin? Well, Thompson's athleticism. Looks like Thompson was going to keep an eye on him, but it looks like he has nothing else to do it. Graham trying to go for the tie, and he has to find something else here. Rozier, will he make it? Yes! He ties the game up by 64, and a, and a crowd are standing wild. It's between the Celtics and the, and the Hornets. Wow. We know how well they play. They're doing it right. Now it's Walker with the layup. Eight points for him. Three for he left. Here comes again, Washington. He gets to tie it up again. And we're doing it all over again. Six points for Washington. Three twenty left. Tatum against Martin. Tatum looking around, finds Smart. Rozier deferred has it covered. Pass to Tatum. Nice dunk here. And assist comes up for Smart. Nineteen points for Tatum. Looks like there's another one to keep an eye on. Layup and one. Graham makes his number shot of the game. That's 13 points. Wow. Look at this. That was a beautiful play and a foul on Tatum. His first foul. Under three minutes if Graham will take the lead up by one. Let's see what he can do. Can he make it? He does. That was excellent. Celtics have gone five for nine from the field in the final. Right now, Walker against uh, Graham. Pass over to Tatum. Right in a three with the feed. 
Thompson with the screen. And that was another shot. Good. Another timeout on the Hornets. 2.46 left. The Hornets has to find its way if it can make it into the playoffs. If they don't, then the Celtics are just going to try to keep it pacing on. Going to set out McDaniels. Let's bring back Zeller in. Uh, let's do another different look. Here we go. Let's present your New Balance player of the game. And this one goes out to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Plain and simple, his scoring is what made him... I'm going to say that Jason Tatum is doing really well out there. Not without an injury report for him, but it looks like he's doing really good out there. Just a bit better. When Kemba Walker was saying, hey, I know that Jason Tatum can do better than Kyrie Irving. But what does it mean if there's a matchup between the Celtics versus the Nets? We will never know. Right now the Celtics are leading up by one. Here comes Graham. He does it again. I'm telling you, he never makes miss that shot. 16 points on the board. 230, Tatum. He's like an all-star. He made it. He made it all. He made it the all-star game last season. Last season before the pandemic hit. And now it's Fournier missing a shot. 2.15 left. It's going to be a close one. Taylor finds Graham. Shots a number one for, for Graham and a assist by Zeller. 18. Look at that. Now it's two minutes. Celtics are having trouble to go right in and out. Kevin Walker scored a basket. And he cuts up by one again. Ten points, four in the mid-range. Graham trying to go for another one. Morgan will try to pick it up from here. Pass over to Washington. Lucy Graham. Graham going in. Oh! Looks like there's a block again. Their time is running out. Zeller, will he get the shot? No, he could not make it. Unfortunately for Graham, his, sleep, his point streak is over. Wow, look at this. Smart is picking up back in the lead. Feel the goals. They're on a tight space. Rozier for three. Got it. Assist from Graham, and that's three in a row. Looks like this was a comeback here for the uh, for the Hornets to pick it up. Tatum for two. Good. Now they just got it tied up already. 23 points for the Tatum. Graham going on a streak today. Looking good. Back to Graham. Graham and now a screen coming in. 55 seconds. 55 seconds. Martin trying to go for it. Can Graham make another one? Yes. He splits it up. And another number timeout call for Boston. 46.2 seconds right now. 78 to 76. Looks like they're doing really well out there. So Graham is uh, Graham is out. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that ball in. Or Wanamaker. I'll, I'll use Wanamaker instead. Let's go for the two to three zone so we make sure everything is all good. And let's push the pace a little bit more. Get um, do some pick and rolls and set. We're going to keep an eye on it and see what we can do. Let's see how this play works. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking this, uh, this place should work. Well, uh, you'll never know. Daniels is checked in for the Hornets. Now Daniels is checked in for the Hornets. That's the one that Daniels has. Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Both teams I only have one timeout. They gotta watch out. Oh no! We got a put back. Williams. He's growing out of it. 40 seconds. Wanamaker will try it. Oh no! 
bounce. That's going to hit on Gory Williams. That's going to be another shooting foul to pick it up. Second personal. Looks like Wanamaker hasn't scored anything. So he's going to have to try himself to, to take two shots. Yep, no score. Let's see if he does it. I'll keep an eye on it. Let's see. Boom, there he is. There's one. And let's see if he can make it two anyway. Yes, he does. Wanamaker has never scored it before, but now he does. He's finally back. With, uh, along with uh, Rozier the third. Walker picking it up. A lot of money out there. Good assist by Tatum. 30 seconds. 80-80. Who will go to the lead first? Cody Zeller trying to pick up another screen. He's beat up to Zeller. He loses the ball. Oh no! Smart has it covered. Could this be another one? And now this is the last chance for the Hornets to pick it up. If they make it win, then it's over. If the, if the Celtics pick out an upset, that means that the Hornets are going to be in the sudden death for the eighth seed. Battling for the eighth seed will be continuing right down the lane. We got to get one of these shooters open, so we got to get so we got to get ready right now. Hold on a second. Let's get the shooters open. Let's do some auto picking. Let's see which one we got. Um, average limit transition. Yes, we gotta we gotta do this. We gotta do this. Let's make this one a better choice. Crash the glass. We gotta go for the crash the glass. Let's keep an eye on one of these players. Um, yeah, let's go from here. Nothing inside. All right, here we go. Can the Hornets win it? Or, if not, will, the, yeah, will it be the Celtics? Let's see if the Hornets can win it all. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Rochino for the win. In he does it. What a game for Rochino. Unbelievable. And it's Jason Tatum say, no, no, you gotta be kidding. I thought that's a no. I thought that's a no shot made for the uh, for the Hornets. Well, well, a game ball winner, Terry Rozier the third. Without Gordon Hayward, this looks like it's an outstanding game. That means they're going to the playoffs in a seventh seed to face against the Brooklyn Nets. What a game this turned out. I'm hoping this everything is turned out great. And like I mentioned it before, our Jordan player, I mean the new balance player of the game is Jason Tatum once more. So thank you for joining us and stay tuned for the Lakers versus the Warriors on the Western Conference 7 vs. 8 seed battling for the Phoenix Suns and the other teams at Lakers or Spurs or Wizard, I mean the Warriors versus the Spurs. We'll find out for sure if there's any chance. So, we'll, guys, we'll let you guys know who will take it for the all. Take it all for the win. So, thanks for joining us. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, bitches, for us in a while as a NBA playoffs and the NBA 2K21 of the play-in tournament dial. So long, guys, and good night in Charlotte, North Carolina. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest, haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.